Welcome to the breakfast show. I'm your host, Martin Wong. Now, in our trading idea with Smart Robbie, certainly today hasn't been a really great day. We have seen the KLCI. Of course, many of you would have been forewarned of the breaking of the KLCI at the 1560 level and such the uh, the Pentagon already turned red, which we will examine a bit. Of course, right now, everything doesn't look very, very rosy because we have the uncertainty of our uh, lockdown in here and uh, there is no news and the political situation doesn't seem to be very favorable to our KLCI. Let's look at what we have in stock for you this morning in here. Now, this morning, we are on Wednesday. That's right, Wednesday, the 30th of June. We are almost six months into the 2021 and still we are no far away exiting from our COVID-19 lockdown in here. So that is really bearing down on the situation that we've seen in the market. As such, many retail investors, which always been the big support of the KLCI, continue to struggle. Now, like it or not, we need foreign institutional to come in. And even as such, you can look at the uh, smart Roby on the SGX is also taking impact from what we are. SGX has also been affected pretty much from the Delta variant which has been spreading in the Asia and that news seems to be pretty occupying and many of the local exchange having difficulty on that. But on the rosy side, the one on the middle, the US S&P 500 continue to do well and as such, uh, tonight we are doing a special session for our members, our masterclass members in here. So make sure you join us at this evening tonight. And we'll be talking a lot about Malaysian market and the Pentagon Guider. We are still up in our portfolio so far. And I do hope your portfolio, even in the KLSC, are doing well if you abide to some of the trading plans that we talk about in here. So the only question is that do you want to follow the plan or do you really want to just be in and out and not respectively making money? And that's what the whole message we are trying to uh, bring it up to you in here. Definitely, let's look at what we have this morning in here. And uh, we on Wednesday, we'll be looking at some trending, uh, trending stocks. But as such, the trending stocks, uh, we, we couldn't find any. To be frank with you, Smart really couldn't find any because the market has been trending down for the last one and a half weeks in here. As such, we have to use Pentagon Guider and we found one share for you this uh, session in here. Now, this morning, of course, we continue to promote our best stock trader. Even a small trade like NF Leong in here with a 2% profit on Fajar, he is still able to walk away with a 50, 50 ringgit grab foot voucher. Just submit your best stock trade idea and you do stand a chance to win our Smart Roby uh, uh, chat chatting with Smart Roby and able to walk away with an iPad giveaway. Something that we want to share with many of you loyal audience who has been with us for all this time, despite good times and bad time in here. But let me be here, Martin Wong here, point you to where the uh, the the fish are, you know, the fish the, the, the fish are. Maybe in one pond we couldn't find it, but let's go to another fishing pond where we can find out. Of course, our Busa headline this morning continued to focus on uh, Pemule, which is uh, another stimulus which was reviewed uh, I think just on the 28th by our Prime Minister in here that um, you know con the continual losses that we see in our KLCI market estimated at 1 billion uh, ringgit per day they expected to continue to July as the lockdown is extended without further notice and that's create a lot of uncertainty. In the previous episode of The Breakfast Show, I also talk about that any uncertainty, the market does not like it. And yesterday, we did hit back to around 6,400 COVID cases in here. And we have not even talked about the Delta variant, which is spreading uh, a lot in Indonesia in here. How much of those are spreading in Malaysia right now because of the vaccine level is low. So that is bearing down on the KLCI that we have so far. So what should you do? All right, what you should do is stay away until you see accumulation and the green pentagon. Of course, there will be some opportunity. I think right now it's always best to huggle in and educate yourself, right? And many of you who are with me this morning in here will probably find many ways to learn about the market and see where the opportunity is. But if you look at the number of stimulus that has been dishing out for 2021, it's almost a 0 0.5 trillion. That's right, 0 0.5 trillion. That is a lot of, lot of money. Now, you remember our foreign debt 
so far is about close about one uh, our debts is about one trillion now they haven't even talked about you know what is our debt now because right 2021 we've been giving out almost 530 trillion so i think we will hit two trillion it's just not nice to stay right now in here uh you can see uh going back to march 27 and with this continual cases in here i'm afraid that the continuum of bad news there will be more of this kind of stimulus coming out in here as such at one point of time our market will be uh, affected by the ratings so we uh, saw well ratings due to the uh, number of uh, stimulus package that's been out in there all right so do take note uh, the GDP growth forecast is still maintaining at 4.4 for 2021 and 4.7 many of the sectors other than export oriented giving the semiconductors and the electronics and some of the EMS you know making the Dyson's uh, those will continue to do well as the US continue to recover in here but not in the local market so just take note of this point in here now the second news is on the banking stocks uh, that we talked about earlier that the monitorium for this round whether we're going to be another six months of monitorial or another two months of lockdown nobody really know but having said that uh, the market has sort of priced in the bank's earnings no doubt the monitorium what's mentioned by the analyst in this maybank report saying that the bank earnings will not be affected but the lockdown has already begun the so-called price uh, negativity falling to that so if you look from the charts let's look a look at the chart right now in here but before that let me just show you the klci chart let me just switch to a wider chart here and you can see uh as such that the early warning that we got uh on the uh just three or four days ago the red pentagon and that market seems to be going down how low can we go i think next level of support will be 1500 depending how bad the situation is uh, but on the positive side the technology continue to do well but do take note 30 percent of our KLCI is uh, dependent on the banking stock and another 14 percent on the rubber glove if the rubber glove does well in it and in many ways the rubber glove seems to you know are uh, not able to follow what it used to do last year uh, around the june time frame when market to go up we are still pretty much in the uh COVID-19 and yet the number of cases continue to go up but and also the average selling price is going but why isn't the rubber glove going higher and that's got to do a lot with the smart money in here and take note our market predominantly has been uh, focused a lot on the retailer and without the retailer coming in to push the rubber glove stop it's not going to go any higher I think many of you will agree and that uh, this becomes a very wait and see market for our KLCI market in here okay so this is what we have and uh, la and this morning in here the big uh, active one or most active one was uh, a server dynamics Saudi uh, OCR haptic and down 7% and Sedania which is uh, up 17% the MPI uh, are the big gainer high tech Vitrox Apollo and KLK and the uh, bigger decliner there were also hata continue again the rubber glove go to some sort of a little bit of selling going in there inwards and now what we want to do is to look at the banking stock definitely our barometer is maybank so you look at maybank here and you can see the stock chart and stock comment here see maybank uh, did turn red pentagon did turn red pentagon when we saw the uh, extension of the mco lockdown in here so this morning i'm sure that a little bit of pullback and market continue to weak all right let's take a look at the stock live price in here that's right it's unchanged in here and similar story also been for uh, public bank in here and if you're longer term i suppose you just need to hunker down into this downtime in here and when the market do recover some of these banking stock will move back up but it's not to go back to the level that we used to see so very very difficult to make money to be frank with you in this situation that we have as such that uh, if you want to look for places where there are better business definitely there will be uh, one of the exchange we talked about earlier here okay uh, let's switch on to our next story so our next story focus on uh, another packaging company which is ssgm food packaging i uh, have seen its recently uh, profit 
fourth quarter ending April 30, 2021 to continue to be good uh, increases 11 per, uh, 11% year on year to 76 million. And this is one of those stocks still trending upwards, SEGM. But you can see here, let me just show you here on the stock chart, switching to a wider chart in here but again also falling on a red pentagon. No doubt uh, the target price that was raised by the research house continued to be a little bit on the upside at three ringgit. Okay, three ringgit right now is just short of 250. And if there is a green pentagon, maybe you want to take some action or you will look to buy at a good location following the trade setup that we talked about, something that we talked about last Saturday yeah, by uh, Dr. Gary Dayton in here that will help you. But it does have a little bit of support in here. Trends is still definitely going on the upside in here. And uh, SEGM has declared a fourth interim dividend of 1.7% in here, something that is still positive at least. Huh? Uh, the uh, SEGM running at the utilization rate of 70 to 75% after lockdown was erased. All right, so maybe with the packaging uh, will be more usage because people are buying more food in here. Food beverage uh, has a better premium apparently in this uh, segment of this news in here. Do take note. Let's move on to our next news. Now, next news follow on TNB tariff, okay? Now, Tengaga continue to have the downtrend because uh, they are not allowed to raise their tariff in here over the last COVID is to reduce or ease the burden of the riot. So as such that uh, they are sort of have their hand tied in here. So it's no surprise if you notice there's been green, uh, red Pentagon all the way through. And just recently we have a green Pentagon, but that was not sustainable and the market continued to fall down. So it is going through what we call under recovery and all the generation costs. So which means they're trying to cover back the cost in the second half of 2022. And uh, it's going to be a challenge if the what we talk about, the uh, petrol prices are going up, the gas prices are going up. So how are they going to cover the cost inside here? And that's what the market that you see above is already pricing lower prices in here. Uh, but uh, Maybank and MIDF do have a buy call on this stock at 12 ringgit. So right now it's below around 950. You can see on the chart just above me in here. So if you like this stock, just wait for the green Pentagon and uh, maybe you want to get some uh, if on that. The good side about it is uh, this stock pay a very nice dividend. Check out the stock fundamental, about an 8% dividend for these stocks in here. All right, uh, next we have, and we turn our attention now to the US market. Uh, the US market S&P 500 and the Nasdaq continue to be very positive uh, going forward in here. At one point in time, we believe the S&P 500 will turn green Pentagon. It's just that the volume hasn't been very su sufficient in here. Let's turn our attention to S&P 500 last night. And if you just turn in the S&P here. All right. And you can see last night the, yes, uh, the S&P 500 is just up. 1.2 points or less almost unchanged in here very bullish 94 percent bullish and usually with the times when you see a lot of bullishness and market making high there where we will see minor correction in here so one of the big uh, most active in there is apple all right apple continue to make headways uh, amd the chip makers the tech stocks are doing well to be frank with you the techs are usually benefiting from the lower interest rate uh, that we see on the 10-year yield and that is eventually i do think eventually uh, this will roll over to the tech stocks even this morning if you check out the hot sector for our klc market the technology seems to be the only rosy one in here the big gainer in here are chipotle last uh, nvr big decliner are booking alphabet uh, which to me i find it it's just in terms of the uh, prices in here but if you look from this chart in here yes finally it turned uh, green pentagon yes that's right we always say that it will come and that is a perhaps are we seeing a new beginning of uh, a new trend while we see the KLCI turning red, the US are turning up. But usually in any times when we see green Pentagon that we have in the 13th of June that we see on the on the left at, on this side of the screen, there will be correction in here. And right now a lot of the fund managers are seeing correction because they don't understand why this market is going up. But usually market go up first and then the news or the media will attempt to explain of it just like what we have previously for the 10-year uh, U Treasury U, right? And they are saying 
think that they're going to hike interest rate, but interest rate is going down. So it doesn't really make any sense at all. So we have to trade based on the chart and we have to trade based on our Pentagon line guide that we have in here. Now, all the following news about the Facebook search that they are my manner, uh, they are managed to uh, not indicted or not charged on the anti sue which is thrown by the FTC Trade Commission about uh, you know being a over dominant on the social media in here so they won the case so as such you can see Facebook finally searched and there are five more they have now right five uh, tech stocks which is above one trillion which is Apple Microsoft Amazon Google and Facebook that's right and these are really humongous things and many of them are actually in the green Pentagon I do take note at early on I did talk about Apple AAPL you can see here hit AAPL and you go on to okay APL just look at the stock chart and stock comment here so you can see and that's where the green Pentagon even notice on the right hand side Apple is likely to be 7.1 percent since the green pentagon in here and the fact that uh, with every green pentagon it has a very, very good good win rate about 87 point time and that's because we have a good trend inside there and uh, going back to back test to 27 december there's almost three years of back testing and about eight trades generated on every green pentagon something to take note of so this is uh, definitely very positive it's uh, it's going to hit the resistance right now that we see here around the 136 and perhaps we will see a bit of profit taking now many of you will probably make the mistake to buy apple now the right time to buy the apple now is when the green pentagon comes out which was on the uh let me just put this just pull this up a bit on the 6th of june right now you're buying you're not following the trading plan of course the the trading plan is to but if you know how to read the chart and you are on the advanced side of ink tank buy on the next breakout we do break out the 136 and 137 in here uh Amazon, microsoft is also very similar to let's look at microsoft here and you can see microsoft let's look at the stock chart and stock comment very similar story that we see here and you can see uh, microsoft has taken out the old high which is the 262 us dollar in here all right so here it's a good one here uh the breaking of the uh, uh the resistance and the green pentagon this market continued to go up right and if you look at the the fact that was 5.9 percent uh for the pentagon guider in here compared to the apple which is much higher in here do check out the facebook and also google too and amazon and if you see any of those that fits you definitely there's something you want to look in and buy it right uh, point is very important is that if you are not familiar with the u.s market i will continue to update you on our breakfast show every morning in here so until you reach a point where you are comfortable you can start to do some paper trading going forward in here all right let's move on to our leaderboard for our past intermediate trade idea definitely as i said before uh we haven't seen much other than the FPI in here. Uh, let's take a look at the SLP, uh, that the trade idea that we have on the 23rd and Astro on the 23rd. So I'll bring up the, the chart here. So SLP, again, this is a plastic making company in here. On the 23rd, it actually hit that high and you can see again, on hindsight we have this climatic volume and then the market sell down now we have 80 uh, so well, i you know personally think that i thought that it could hold on to 98 cent but yesterday we have another sell off in here and this morning seems to be stable so this market is not ready poised to go up yet uh, let's take a look at astro and remember astro has a lot of the good news been coming in the netflix and the also disney plus and also profit taking comes back in here but the trend is still up right having said that you can see uh, this morning is up three percent so on the 23rd was here so we're pretty much unchanged for the astro and i think going forward uh astro seems will be benefiting and do take note astro, astro is one of those uh, share dividend account that actually pays pretty well good share too and if you check out the uh fundamental ratings is rated pretty well too all right so let's go on to what we have next for you right uh do take note the market has already turned uh, red pentagon all right and uh, usually if you are following our trade idea there is no trading for the purpose okay now in our 
uh, intermediate trade idea this week we are uh, banking on on Maybau, right? Uh, Maybau is one of those shares that we have it earlier on, okay? And the edgy turned green Pentagon yesterday, so this is one of the trending stats here. We actually bought it around here, the sixty six cents, uh, looking to take profit at somewhere you know uh, here, the old high about eighty one cents. So that is the Pentagon Guider uh, portfolio system we have, but on today's session in here we are taking it for our intermediate trade idea may about all right so this is a good one in here i hope that uh, this is only one of the positive that is actually trending up of course the others one uh that uh, perhaps there will be some news coming up for this i'm not too sure about it but looking for it there's probably some smart money buying this stock okay that is for may about all right, let's look at the, some of the news that we have for our KLCI in here. And uh, let's take, check it out, KLCI sentiment. Switching to a wider chart here. Okay, looks like uh, the internet connection. Yes, it's here. So here you can see uh, the KLCI news is still positive. That is reading from the marginal gains in the regional uh, SEC, uh, June 29, slightly higher, but server dynamics were told to comply with the BUSA Malaysia Directive, Sunway, uh, Sunway Tencent back log, uh, link logistic for digital bank license. It seems to be the digital bank license is something very big and CIMB is also benefiting from that. That's why you see CIMB banks are able to hold up. Uh, top glove, uh, they were, uh, this was a top glove stock, top lawyers among victims of Singapore's biggest alleged investment fraud. That's something we need to check on that one. Uh, IOI Corp mistreated by manager claim right group. Okay, so there's a lot of this not so negative news on the respective company that we've seen so far, right? It's good always to check it out this early in the morning. Uh, as of such, the Pentagon Guider continued to do well, having said that, but we have cut loss for two trades, which is the uh, DNEX and the SAM Chem, all right? This portfolio will be lower, and once we update it, uh, we will bring up the latest update for you. Will be lower, but are still up against the minus three percent. Now, the minus three percent KLCI would have gone to at least maybe minus four. We continue to do well with the May bulk in here, and let, hopefully, we are able to get a gold ball for our May bulk. Despite seeing that, then our uh, our portfolio will continue to hold on to that level in here. Now, of course, uh, you can check out the hot sectors. Uh, as I said before, the hot sectors is currently showing technology. And there you go, technology stocks are the hot one in here. But always look for good setup, look for Pentagon Guider if you have. If those of you don't want, you can always go to our Trade VSA uh, plugin, right? And that's where you can get more shares and more so. Or maybe look at the US market for that such. Now, uh, these are the chart that we want to see. Uh, usually but right now I find it may be difficult because of the market that we have and generally when we see very weak market that we see right now in here some of this trend will not instead of they hit two bars and then quickly sell off why because a lot of the smart money wanted to take profit and not able to hold on in that and that's usually what we get and if it does break below we need to exit like what we saw last year and uh, the of course eventually the market will rally back and that's going to be something that uh, prior to the news that will be released again right now we nobody knows how long our extension of our MCO in here and that's causing this kind of uncertainty going forward okay so uh, let's look at the and also a treat for those of you uh, something that we plan out in our calendar for our marketplace is this coming Saturday now if you have time this Saturday and I think many of you would be considering the lockdown that we have so we are trying to provide many of these free webinars for yourself for your family and for your colleague though so you can learn and definitely this Saturday 3rd of July make a date on in here that's a QR code and also in the pin comment there you can also check out the uh, register for it is the modern value investing for beginners something is a new approach and something I'll share with you with the metrics that we have and uh, using smart Roby as well, some of the freely available tools that you have so you are able to understand what are those implications that we have and how you're able to pick on stocks that is undervalued now at one point in time when the true value comes 
the stocks will move here up and you will benefit. And this is definitely free and uh, join us this coming Saturday. And do share this link with any of your friends uh, of your of thing here. Definitely, uh, it's a first come basis in here and we will be doing a couple of workshops. Please bring your calculators and your pencil in here and also be ready with your computer. We will be doing a couple of spreadsheet too. All right. So that will be this Saturday. And right now, uh, uh, we will be doing our stock review. Of course, uh, stock review will be given to our top fans and top priority for our Google Play Store and also Apple Play Store in here. And those of you who have been uh, very supportive of you and you think we have done a good job, please go over to Google Play Store and Apple Play Store and please give me your comment whether it is in English, Basa or Mandarin. We really appreciate it uh, for the good job they have done so we continue to update and uh, upgrade our skills that will help you uh, to look for shit just like what we have been doing for all our investing courses that we do in here. So we're going to be looking at a couple of stocks in here. Uh, if you have a couple of stocks for you want to look at, definitely I want to look at, uh, help you to look at those. But of course, many of these, if you have US stock, we also look at US stock too, uh, which is not an issue in here because currently looking at where the market is, there is not much of an opportunity in the Malaysian market. That's right. So I'm still hunting for your, uh, waiting for your stock pick. If you do have any, do let me know. Okay, I think some of the good ones like uh, Apple, right, uh, has done pretty well. All right, so uh, if there is no stocks to be picked, right, I'll see many of you, our masterclass member tonight at uh, I think 8 or 8.30 for our masterclass Pentagon Guider portfolio simulation that's the one we are talking about the 17 percent return how we are able to get from january to june despite the market is pretty bad we are able to get some winner and also looking at the u.s market and i'll be doing a couple uh, live trading tonight also on the on the u.s side in so, so make sure you join me and for our public in here our our august intake is still around and don't forget to subscribe subscribe to our youtube so you can able to follow many of our uh programs, video, tutorial in here. And don't forget to submit your best stock trade idea and stand the chance to win an iPad. All right. And uh, uh, do share this link and do join our Telegram chat room for all information that we have in here. Free workshop like the one that we'll be doing this Saturday in here to show you insights into the modern value investing. For our public, I'll see you this Saturday for a longer session, if not on Friday for our breakfast show again. And for our members, I'll see you tonight. Definitely a very, very busy uh, a week for us in here because we want to support you, especially during this lockdown where many of you may have time and you want to learn more about the stock market, about investing and trading. Definitely we are here to support you. So thank you again in here. And you can see on my site over in here, do give us a Google review if you've done a very good job inside in here. And we are happy to uh, be of service to you. Just let us know what are the things that you need and we will be here. Okay, maybe I've got some stock review right now. Okay, looks like none in here. And I'll see you tonight for our members in here. Bye-bye.